When I found out I was at university, I was in the second year um, and it completely crumbled me. Holly Ann Brooks was 21 and had barely started adult life when she found she was going through the menopause. She was bewildered by the hot flushes, night sweats and then infertility. But her dream of having a family has been rekindled by a new experimental technique that's allowed a Japanese woman to have a baby despite being past the menopause. I'm thrilled to see that the advances in, in science and medical science are changing so that in the next few years it may be a possibility for me so that in the next few years I can, you know, hold a baby of my own and, and not um, experience the pain that I feel every single day of childlessness. The scientists found they could wake up dormant follicles that contain immature eggs by first removing the ovary, cutting it into tiny fragments and then treating the pieces with drugs. They then implanted the fragments at the top of the patient's fallopian tube. In five of the 27 women in the trial, the eggs matured. These were collected and fertilised with IVF techniques. More study needs to be done and then uh, 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 there will be uh, more uh, doctors learning how to do this procedure, trying to use different ways to improve this procedure. And eventually, certainly we hope this will help many, many infertile patients. One healthy baby, another on the way, and two other women are waiting for IVF. But British experts caution that far more work is needed before the technique is used more widely. It tells us a lot more about how the ovary works, how we can actually stimulate ovaries. And in some women whose ovaries traditionally would not have been suitable to actually make eggs from, and they might have had to rely on donor eggs, in some women they may be able to have their own genetic pregnancy. But it's still an awful long way from a scientific breakthrough into a day-to-day -day clinical treatment that will add to their hopes for IVF. The researchers hope in future to reawaken dormant ovaries without surgery, reducing the risks and costs of the technique and giving many more prematurely menopausal women the chance of a child. Thomas Moore, Sky News.